Hey everybody, and welcome to part 11 of Spiral Year of the Dragon. So, as you guys know in the last episode, we beat this level, which allows us to take the Whirly Gig. Now with this, we can now fly to the third world, Evening Lake. Ooh, I bet you this place is beautiful. Oh my god, we're going to Zephyr again. Woo woo, Zephyr! Zephyr, 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 yeah! I love me some good Zephyr. Oh no, what the fuck is this? My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. I don't get it. If your missiles don't work, why would I need ammunition? What is this guy's name again? Is this Spike? This might actually be Spike. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, goddammit, he got zapped acuted. Damn it, I missed. Ow! Oh. This boss is honestly one of the worst. He is literally known as one of the worst Spyro bosses in existence. Especially in this game. Oh man, I got I got stuck. Dude, can you can you please drop me sheep? Can you please drop me sheep? Why is he so against giving me sheep? The music here though is interestingly epic. I don't know why. What is this? There we go, let's hopefully not die because that would be embarrassing at this point. Please don't shoot that, please don't grab that blue shit. God damn, he's going for the blue shit. And you know what it is. That laser beam. As long as it. God damn it! How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Wait, why is he punching me? Don't punch me, bro! And. Whoa, he actually didn't hit me. Weird. Are you gonna. Okay, I don't want you to shoot my rocks, so that's why I'm waiting patiently for you. Whoa. <laughs> there we go, three hits on him. Oh, it does it take six? No, that doesn't take six, it takes more. There we go, that's beautiful. Dude, can you not drop it right next to the enemy? Like. How is dropping it next to the enemy actually helping me at all? Dude, why are you stuck? Like, I don't know why, but Spiral was stuck. There we go. Missile launch. Oh, God fucking damn it. One more hit. God fucking damn it! All because of my controls got stuck when you got hit that one time. What the fuck, game? I see how this is gonna be. Oh my god, already down to green fucking health on the first fucking hit. Oh, great. Why do you, why do you have to get closer to me? Oh man, that goes my lava rock. I thought you were dropping me ammunition. Why are they... Like, you're not even dropping these lava rocks, they just randomly spawn from the lava. What the hell did you... Spyro? Spyro, my lad, what are you doing? Get out of here, dude. Oh man, I hope I don't die. Oh god, that was so fucking close to actually damaging me. Don't you dare punch me, bro. Man, that hurt like a son of a bitch. Oh, see, my controls get weird when I go near the, the ledge. Wait, oh, I'm like, that didn't hurt him? Really? Seriously? Seriously? 
There we go. He's dead. That took way longer than it should have. Why am I on the edge? Monique, get back to class. Give me that butterfly, because apparently in this game you don't get health for beating bosses. Not entirely sure why you don't, but you don't. And it's kind of annoying, but hop on. The next boss is actually a joke. The final boss can be difficult, but as long as you know her attack pattern, you should be good. Evening Lake Home. Ah, let me guess. Bianca? Yep, here she comes. Listen to me, dragon. Spyro. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! What, before it's too late? How hard is it to say before it's too late? I need some health. Because we were pretty much brutally raped in that boss fight. Because of bad shoddy controls. Like, I don't know, my analog stick on my PlayStation 3 controller here is getting weird. Again, yeah, my wired one that I use for PC games is, is kind of on a similar page right now. Ah, oh, looks like we're building a rocket this time. Typical home world music. Eh. Kind of wish the home world music changed, but can't really judge it, you know? Eh, let me guess 400 gems here. Yeah, 400. Five eggs. Glide to the towers, number one. Uh, I believe to get Bentley, though, it's going to cost us a thousand gems. So, yeah, we should be able to get him done in this episode, too. Which is going to be great. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the panda part done in this episode, because I can't have the episodes too long, especially when I'm on limited uh, computer space. So, let's hope things, you know, go well. We have Charmed Ridge and Honey Speedway. Honey Speedway can be interesting. We got to do that at a certain time frame, otherwise we're not going to be able to get 100% on it. So... Yeah, we gotta be careful. Anyways, there's uh, Frozen Altars. That is a very interesting level. Wait, I thought he was on the outside. Never mind, the tower is actually, I believe, where an egg is then. We'll free you later. Yep. Actually, I've never done the boss and do them in the same level. Or same episode, I mean. It's gonna be interesting. So normally I name the episode after them. Probably still will. But I have a thumbnail for Spike. Or whatever his name was, Spike? I'm pretty sure his name is Spike. Spike might be the one after it, though. Like, I can only ever remember three of the four bosses in this game. Always, even though I absolutely love this game. Ooh, egg. Don't mind if I do. I'm always open for getting eggs. I love eggs in general, too. I absolutely love eggs of all kinds. They're delicious. Stooby! Related to Scooby! Kind of glad that Spyro didn't implement some weird-ass breath mechanics. Same with God of War. You know how much I'd hate God of War if it had a breath mechanic? Oh god. The game can already be a dick in some points, let alone having to have a breath mechanic. And there's actually an egg if you go in this whale. Yeah, a whale eats you and you get an egg. Jonah Hill! <laughs> Doing handstands, sweet. That is gross. Now I smell like whale. Whale guts blubber and nastiness. Anyways, let's collect all the remaining goodies down here. Try and get some money back before we give it to money backs. Like, we're gonna be under 2,000, or under 3,000 again. We haven't been able to go above it. Okay, there were some gems up here that I seen twinkling. Ah, oh, I was on this ledge. On these ledges. Oh my, I had seen a red gem. Where was the red gem? I finally picked it up. Okay, nothing else here. I don't believe there's anything else in here. Uh, now we're done with this, we can climb this ladder because I always thought this ladder. Oh wait, no, this is where the Sparks level is. Yeah, this is where the Sparks. Yeah, we can also go back into the Sparks mission. We'll probably do that in the next episode. The next episode probably won't be as long as the other episodes that we've had lately, but we'll get a lot done. Hannah Montana. Ugh. 
At least they're cute. Miley Cyrus is, eh, I don't know, she's crazy. Miley Cyrus is just nuts, man. Not amazing at all. Oh, let me guess, invincibility power. Yeah, we know this is an invincibility power, but if you guys watched my Spy uh, Spyro 2 Let's Play, you guys would know that. Anyways, Stuart Little, everyone, with his little hat. I like his little hat, and hey, a life for losing the lives that we did in that dumbass level. Hey, those are what the lives were for, man. Yeah, we're missing one red gem. One red gem. Wait, no, we're not. I forgot, we don't have an even amount. Jeez Louise, game, don't do that to me. But we did actually get 100%. This should be the last egg. Ted Newton. Or Ted Nugent. You got buck tooth varmint. Eh, sweet, we do have time for the Bentley level, because pretty sure that won't take 10 minutes. The longest part's going to be the cutscene, but other than that, fairly easy level. Lots of gems, really short, easy level, though. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Yeah, 1,000 gems. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. It is lying around on the ground, dude. Uh, Duplicitus Larcinius Ursine. Ah, ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now oh, hold on! <coughs> One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Bentley's very well educated, everybody. Oh, my knuckles were so cramped, it like knuckleliciousness, and I got a text. Okay, Bentley's outpost, here we come. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, no, we're actually above 3,000 still. By $11. Bentley's outpost. Now, I actually really enjoy this level. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Oh, is this Bartholomew? Bartholomew! Yeah, so, let's see the gem total here. 600, I knew it, the gong show. I'm pretty sure it's not really a gong show, but... Oh, circles the attack, squares the block, okay. Crunch. Hey bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Okay. Flattened. Yeah, see, this is his music. It's not bad. I don't mind Bentley. He's a little slow paced, but a lot of the time you don't really play it with him in a normal level like this. He generally has like a mini a short mini game. I believe Bamboo Terrace is the only other level where you actually run around with him. Without, you know, like, just to actually collect and do stuff. See what I mean? Like, there's a lot of big gems just right there. Hey, Rapito. Hey, buddy. If you use and now we just gotta wait for him to throw a snowball, and then we just deflect it. Ta-da! Oh, there's just random eggs lying around. Alright, I'm cool with it. Hello, Egg. Brian. Brian Griffin. The real Brian Griffin this time. Man, out of all the names they could have chose, they already had two Brians in the game. Man, weird to think that they would reuse a name already. So many different names. It's just stupid if you say so myself. Or if I say so myself. If you say so myself, that makes no sense. Hey, Mr. Seal. Biatch. Oh, 
Okay, there's another one. This one moves. Too bad he's still gonna die, like all his other brothers. Sometimes enemies actually drop from these totems, so be careful. Ooh, the pathway. Yeah, see what I mean? There's an enemy. Still gives you a lot of money, though. Man, you think his fire would have burned the snowball. But apparently these snowballs are too thick. Well, it is compact. Fire won't really do much. It'll probably just, like, put out the fire. Money. I always thought the money fell down. Maybe not. Mm, well. Going the Bentley way. Go going the Bentley way. Yahoo! Yahoo! Jaku! Stop all! Another gong! Great! I bet we can cause an avalanche with this. Oh, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Let's cause an avalanche! <laughs> Boom! Yeah, because it's a giant snowball is randomly an avalanche. That made sense. Goddamn game doesn't make sense. Now, there actually is a skill point for this. Now, what you do is you push this all the way off the ledge. See? Ta da! Skill point. And our second egg. The third one's just up there. Charlie Chaplin! Or she. Don't, run, don't know if either of them are spelled that way. Whatever one's spelled that way deserves that title. More gems. Always content with picking up gems. I just love the sound of gems in the morning. And lots of stuff going on here. Oh, come on! It's just a second too late. I don't think we have to go down there. Though, is it technically any longer of a walk to go this way, back, or to fall down and go around? I don't think it really, you know, makes a difference. Hey, fool. Like, it's all big gems. At this point in the game, you're going to start seeing a lot more big gems, a lot less small gems, or huge copious amounts of small gems. Well, there was a 10 in there, okay. Boop. That one actually had the least amount of gems in it at all. Still had a lot, though. But this one, this one's a joke. You literally just push it to the end of the track. You can only push it to the end of the track, though, so you can't really fuck up. And you just do it again. And then he'll hop across, and you can hop across. You gotta time it right, though, because you jump, like, really, really shallow. Ooh. Gem. Gem. Gotta collect some more gems here. Oh, green. Oh, wow, see what I mean? Greens are then just randomly purple. And give me more gems here, please. Boom. Oh, what the, what the, what the, what the hell? Oh man, where did we forget gems? How did I forget gems in this level? It's going so smoothly. Unless maybe there's gems at the ending. Dude, why are you pushing it? Why was he pushing it? Are the gems in there? Here's a little something for your rock collection. I'm pretty sure it's not a rock. I'm pretty sure it's an egg. It's Eric. Thank you, Eric. Wait, no, that's just his house. Never mind. There's nothing in there. Boo hoo. So we gotta go find the gem. Maybe it fell over the edge. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Huh. Nothing here. Maybe it's back this way. I like his stompings are boom, boom, boom. What the heck? Was that like some Jamaican guy yelling in the background? Like we're missing what, one gem I assume? No, we're missing a five actually. It could be anywhere. Oh wait, no, it did fall over this ledge. Sweet. Well, that, we can now leave the levels. Yeah, this this episode was under 20 minutes, or is about to be 20 minutes. So, here we go. Show them. It's good. Leave the level. Yep, we'll leave. And here are 600 gems. 
Ooh, the purple one actually ended up in there. Nice. So anyways, I will see you guys next time.